What I find hardest about building a PC is making sure everything is performing to like the standard that it should. And I totally get that there are gonna be benchmarks out there um, to show you the performance of a specific CPU or GPU, but typically it's comparing maximums. What is the best that this CPU or GPU can do? Which is very important information, but sometimes you just kinda wanna know how this GPU will do with this CPU or how this GPU will do with this CPU, right? So you can decide um, to really help you decide if you need to spend more money on a better CPU for the GPU um, that you want to, you know, kind of reach out and purchase. Well, today we're going to do exactly that. We are going to start a series that compares how different CPUs do with the same GPU. And today, since I get a ton of questions on whether you should be getting the 1600 AF or the more expensive Ryzen 5 3600, we are going to compare the Ryzen 5 1600 AF with the Ryzen 5 3600 when you have the RTX 2060. Is there a big enough gap in the performance to warrant getting the 3600 when you have an RTX 2060? Let's find out. What's going on guys, I'm Brian, and today we are gonna help you determine if the 3600 is worth the premium over the 1600 AF, and in particular when you have the RTX 2060. As always, check out the description box below if you're interested in any of the um, the products we talked about today. I'll have links down there um, for that. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more tech content just like this, and feel free to like this video if you end up enjoying it. All right, so before we get into the benchmarking, I want to run through the test bench um, that we will be using as well as a minor caveat. So first off, I actually don't own the Ryzen 5 3600, but I do have the Ryzen 7 3700X. And hold on, don't dislike this video just yet. Let me explain a little bit. Um, the biggest reason I actually went out and got the 3700X over the 3600 was the fact that if you disable two cores on the 3700X, it performs within margin of error of the 3600. It's basically in between the 3600 and the 3600X. And so since this chip was an investment for this channel, by getting the 3700X, I could actually do pretty accurate testing for you guys for both the eight core 3700X and the six core 3600. Now, if you don't believe me, I totally get it. And that's why I ran the multi-core and single core tests on Cinebench R20 for you guys. Feel free to go ahead and compare these results to your favorite tech tuber or tech news outlet, and you'll see the results are nearly identical. As for the rest of the test bench, this system is using the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard, the Hyper 212 Black Edition to cool the CPU, a 16 gigabyte kit of 3200 megahertz speed, cast latency 16 memory, and then the Founders Edition RTX 2060. I also have some SSDs in there, um, and then a, obviously a power supply, but that's not that stuff's not really important. Um, both the CPUs were tested on this exact setup with nothing changed but the CPU. Now, as for the testing, the 1600 AF was tested at stock speeds um, and overclocked to four gigahertz. The simulated 3600 was only tested at stock speeds because overclocking the 3000 series um, Ryzen really doesn't do much um, when it comes to actually adding performance to it. And then in both scenarios, the RTX 2060 was tested at stock as well as with a minor overclock of plus 150 megahertz on the core and plus 900 megahertz on the memory. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get into the results. So I tested six games all at 1080p using medium and ultra settings. And you'll see why I did the test this way in a minute. Um, but the gist is that by just looking at the numbers for the, for ultra settings, you really won't see much of a difference between the two CPUs, which we'll get into um, why in a moment. So I'm going to show you the results that I gathered, and then afterwards we will talk about them so you guys kind of have a good understanding why the results are the way they are. And with that said, here are the results.
So as we can see, when it comes to 1080p ultra settings, there's very little difference between the 1600 AF and the 3600 when you're using the RTX 2060 as your graphics card. But when you drag the settings down a little bit, all of a sudden the 3600 pulls ahead. Why? Well, as you make it easier on your GPU, it will push more frames. And the more frames you push, the more stress it's going to put on your CPU. So if the settings are lower, you will no longer be G, um, just strictly GPU bound and you will then be restricted by the CPU performance as well. I kind of hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, but the idea here is that since we aren't using a GPU like the 2080 Ti, both the CPUs are able to handle the full workload that the GPU is pushing to them. thus giving us very um, similar results when we're using the ultra settings. With that said, which CPU should you buy when you have the RTX 2060? Well, for me, the answer is pretty simple. All around, I think you should be picking up the Ryzen 5 1600 AF and skipping the Ryzen 5 3600. Of course, there are reasons to pick up the 3600 that are outside of gaming, but if that's what you're focusing on, then I don't think it's worth it right now just because the 1600 AF is such a great valued um, uh, CPU at this point in time. If there are any other CPUs you would like to see face off or a specific GPU, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech content just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.